Glass Vision one is like so don't know. Ice cream yeah. milkshake. Yeah, there is a certain area where ice cream and milkshake is popular. Hi. Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Korean Billy and I'm from South Korea. And I make videos about British language and British culture. So I'm gonna take a guess and do a very exciting guessing game today. Hi. I'm Johnny from the UK, and my job is I'm a full-time actor and model. Mm, I think I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could tell, I mean, briefly where he's from, yeah. Definitely, that accent is like Scottish accent. Correct. Right? Uh, it's Scottish. Correct, yep. Scottish, yep. right? Definitely Scottish. Definitely Scottish. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not sure where in Scotland. Maybe we should just, you know, keep talking, right? Keep talking a wee bit yeah. more. Yeah, sure, of course. What do you usually have when you are back in your country and back in your town? In our village, there's a bakery and a butcher shop. They do award-winning steak pies, and they have this really, really good, delicious steak pie that I have to have every time I go home. Mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to focus on his accent, to be honest, more <laughs> than my answer. Yeah, but I, I kind of, I can kind of tell like the accent is quite thicker than like Edinburgh accent. Uh, that would be like around like Glasgow, I think. Cause like Glasgow accent is much like stronger and thicker. While Edinburgh people, I can't even tell, sometimes I can't even tell someone is from Edinburgh because it's really soft. But I can distinctively tell like Scottish accent features like, for example, like British people in standard one, it's usually like, so don't. Glaswegian one is like, so don't know. So I could tell that as well. You just also said like butcher shop. So that accent is like, I believe it's from like Glasgow as well. So. <laughs> hey, <what's up? laughs> Hello, Glaswegian, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, ah, Glaswegian. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. I could tell. Because like, even though like I was like wearing this, yeah. the sound was like from like up there. So oh, right. like, oh, he must be like very tall, much taller than me. <laughs> and like, ah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, nice, what's one. Up, man? nice one. Nice <laughs> one. So I'm correct. You are correct. Right. Glasgow's right. Yeah, hundred percent right. Well done. Good job. Expert. Hi, Billy. My name is Lily. So my occupation is a freelancer and my hobby is taking film photos. Quite close to RP, even sounds really posh to be honest. Because it's like a very typical British accent I've been always listening to on the telly or on media. When you go back to your country, what's your favourite thing to do? Um, so my hometown doesn't really have a lot. It's kind of like a seaside village. Mm -hmm. So there's not much to do there except kind of bike riding or like going to cafes and stuff like that. There are so many seasides in the UK. Yeah. Can you say but, some and done? But, some, done. Oh, <laughs> trickier now. There's two very famous football teams from the closest city to where I'm from. Very, very famous football teams. Very, very famous. Yes. And it must be from Merseyside, isn't it? Interesting. I... Yeah. Okay. No? I mean, for me, my favorite football team is Liverpool and Everton, <laughs> so I just thought of that. And uh, how about my accent, though? But your accent is definitely not from Merseyside one. Some are from Merseyside, so it's not really... I mean, obviously not Scouts. Bath, pasta, Oh, where football. was that? I think that's, I think that's like Yorkshire, so like we're in Yorkshire, so I think it must be like... Oh, which cities are there? Yorkshire seaside. So I would just say... Yorkshire. Hello. Hi. Oh my god! There you go. <laughs> hey, oh my god. I used a fake name to confuse you. Oh just my in case. god. Oh. I'm sorry, my accent is so mixed. I mean, she can she can trick all the other British people. Yeah, I think. no yeah. one ever knows where I'm from. Yeah. So because I'm from really a really, really tiny place, yeah. we don't have a Scouse accent. We have maybe slightly more Lancashire accent. Mm -mm -mm. So again, like what would be the correct answer then? You are from You can say Merseyside or Lancashire and Merseyside, I would have said both Lancashire. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Near the border. Literally on the border. See, I'm I am not the weird one. <laughs> no, it's me. It's me. Yeah. You're right, Billy. <laughs> Scouses are usually all right, love Billy. Yeah. yeah. 
Hello, I'm Stacy. I'm not going to tell you where I'm from. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you do? I teach English. My hobby, I'm a singer and a songwriter and I play guitar. No idea, no clue. Okay, <laughs> no clue. Uh, would you say your hometown is not a typical British tourist destination? It is, actually. Mm -mm. Very, oh, quite is. famous, yeah. Oh, it is quite famous. Globally, yeah. Oh, globally famous. <laughs> Iconic, some would say. Iconic. Isn't Big it London kids. then, though? <laughs> oh, isn't it London? He's got me. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, but like... But like oh, where in London? Right, oh. There are like tons of like districts and areas exactly. in London. I think she doesn't really force herself to neutralize oh, her accent. This is really deep. Right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of just a typical British accent, what I hear, you know, on the media. But where in London though? Have you lived in London for a long time then? Were you yes. born in, or like, did you move around? I was born in South Africa, and then ah. I moved to London when I was five. So that's why I have this accent. So like, imagine you just meet your best friend back in your hometown. All right. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I would say like, Hey babe, you're right. That's all I'm giving you. Okay, and shall we have a get some Nando's together? Yeah, do you want to get a cheeky Nando's? Oh. <laughs> that's, that makes it more trickier, okay. I mean, I'm just going to take a guess mm -hmm. and it would be... That it would be from down south, I would say. Yeah. So is it, is it, is it from down south? Hello. hello there, hello there, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Yeah, so... You are almost there, south Almost east. there. Uh, south? East. Yeah, South East. Ah, then what is the name of your town then? Um, so I live in the suburb, so it was like Bexley, Greenwich. Mm, Greenwich. Ah, Greenwich, Greenwich, yeah. Ah, near Greenwich. Yeah. Fancy area then. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Fancy yeah. area, yeah. yeah. Ah, and suburb. obviously it's green. Very yeah, green. very, very green. Greenwich. Yeah, <laughs> one of the greenest area in London. Ah, exactly. that's nice. You're always there. Always yeah, there. oh, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to yeah. meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Felix. Uh, I do like entertainment work. Mm. Modeling kind of stuff, mm -mm. all that kind of foreign work. <laughs> mm, okay. How would you describe your hometown then? Uh, busy. A lot of people. Metropolitan. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, a metropolitan. First impression is quite typical. Oh. Typical <laughs> British guy, you know. Yeah, there's no one typical British oh, accent. Yeah. But like for me, it's what I usually hear from like the media as a Korean. This yeah. is the BBC, that kind yeah, of. Yeah, like TV shows yeah. as well. I mean, yeah. obviously there are many characters these mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, that's what I usually hear. Yeah. Are there like typical words or phrases that your British mates make fun of? I mean, everyone makes fun of like water. Mm. You know, water. Like there's different ways of saying that, right? Mm -mm. The way I say it is more like what my dad says. My dad says water. Water. Mm. But then if people who went from the similar accents to me mm -hmm. usually would have like water. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you watch Harry Potter and you mm -hmm. hear like Hermione Granger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. All, that, all that kind of uh -huh. jazz. Um, I don't know what people might, you reckon? Oh. That's a big one which people make fun of. What about your neighbourhood? Oh, I mean, yeah, but like people, if, you, if you're in, the, in this city, there's like all sorts of accents, you know? Mm -hmm, mm. There's a whole like plethora of different kind of accents all kind of like jibing it out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, the accent that I, from the exact like borough or like the actual exact area I'm from, mm -hmm. they don't sound like me. I mean, he mentioned borough, so that must be London. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, I kind of gave that one away. <laughs> there you go. Hello there. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Billy and... My you... name's Felix. I'm from South East London, mm. but I spent most of my time mm. outside. I went to like a, you know, like like Harry Potter. I was sent off a train, on, offered on a train uh -huh. out, out of the country, out of the city. Uh -huh. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Letty. I'm from the UK. I'm currently teaching. Mm -hmm. My hobbies are karaoke and hiking. I just want to ask, mm -hmm. like, is your hometown a rather relatively like a bigger area or like a small town? Medium-sized town. Medium-sized. Not a city, a town. How would you describe your town? A very nice place to live. <laughs> Every, everyone says that to me, so I have no idea where is the best place to live in. <laughs> okay. So like what else? How would you describe it again, other than best place? It's a very popular place with mm -hmm. lots of festivals. Different festival every week. Oh. Very busy kind of place. Okay. A lot of good nature around the area, so cyclists really like it. And like is there, can you see lots of like natural water around your area? 
No. Not really. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't think no so. not really. Yeah, I'm trying to just, you know, draw the UK map. I just want to test your accent sure. by giving you some words. Mm -hmm. How would you say, like, ringing? Ringing. Ringing. And singing? Singing. Because like, there are some areas where people change their ing accent, ing sound. Mm. And your ing sound is not really like standard one. I start to like have a feeling like she is from like Manchester area. But there are some other regions whose accent, pe where people have different accents as well. Mm. So it's not super far down south. You're missing the middle of the country. Mm. Is it? Oh, it must be the near like Nottingham, but it's not like Yam Yam accent or like <laughs> Bromi accent, right? Mm. It's not like Yoroi, Bromi, Birmingham. It's not like that. Accent. No, it's not as harsh as Birmingham. Right? But what are the areas around Birmingham? Black country. But, but does it does it sound black country? No, I don't think so. Does it? It's not too far away from Birmingham. Not far down, nor far up north, but somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Not Birmingham, not Yam Yam. I mean, Yam Yam is black country person. Kind of like a near the border of like a Yorkshire and black country. Hello there, hello. hello. So please give me the correct answer. So I'm actually from Cheltenham, which is Cheltenham. in Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Right next to Worcestershire, which everyone fights to pronounce. Yeah, <laughs> very famous for like Worcestershire sauce, Worcester sauce, yeah, that's right? The one. Yeah. Oh wow, that's why I have no idea. Because <laughs> like, yeah, obviously people there have like a very neutral accent, mm. so I can never tell where they are from. But it's interesting because in actually Worcester and mm -hmm. Gloucester, yeah. really strong accent. Uh -huh. But the towns nearby have a softer accent. And you are the you are from the area where people have softer accent. Yeah, ah. I think so. <laughs> That's very tricky. Hello, okay. I'm Emily. My hobbies are drawing, horse riding. I don't really want to give anything out. Horse um, riding? Yeah, horse riding. Wow. Like, do people have a distinctive accent in your hometown then? They do, say? but I don't have it. Oh, why not though? They don't use it commonly. In, like even in my school, there were like, only a few people that actually use the accent. Are there any typical phrases and words or pronunciation that your um, friends can take the mickey out of your place or accent? Not really. They just say that you sound a bit like a farmer if if you use our regional accent. Southwest should be so. Uh huh. Uh huh. So like ah, oh, but like where in Southwest? That must be like like Cornwall, Cornwall and like. Okay. But not Bristol. Bristol is not really farmer's area. So yeah. typically what I remember yeah. is like people there say like, including farmers say like, or I'm a lover. Yeah, fairly yeah. use the R's. Cheers. Well yeah. Cheers. Lovers and cheers. And do your neighbours also? Yes, they do. Ah. <laughs> he's he's actually, he's actually quite close. To be fair, more than my accent is more the description of, you know, he could have gone north, but the north doesn't really use my accent. So he's going posh and regional, going southwest. There is like a Devon, right? And Devon. Cornwall is not a county, is it? No, no. no, no. Devon. Oh, yeah, I have, a, like, I have a kind of feeling that Devon area is quite famous for that farmer and... It's it's neighbouring Devon. Neighbouring Devon? Yeah. Then it must be like Bristol. Bristol was like, people in Bristol also say like, cheers and... They do. Lover. Yes, I do live about 30 minutes from Bristol. Then how would you like, brag your... Brag? Yeah, brag <laughs> your <clears throat> county and what is the best thing about your county? Uh, we have good... Well, I think we have yogurt. So it's not really like popular for like ice cream and... Yeah, no, ice cream, yeah, we have... Ice cream, yeah. milkshake, yeah, there is a certain area where ice cream and milkshake is popular. Yeah, yeah. But where the hell was we this? Have, we have very good dairy. Ah, dairy, dairy food. I think there is definitely something different from like Devon, Devonshire. De Devonshire? That's, I don't think they exist, but yeah. Yeah, Devonshire. <laughs> yeah I'm getting confused. Devonshire. 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 Yeah. Devon, just Devon. Is that, well, there's a lot of shires and bournes and... Right. But like near there. Yes, yeah, so it is near there. Okay, so... Hello. Hello. Nice to nice meet you. Meet you. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. I'm so. from Dorset. Darset, Darset. I know Somerset that. Somerset also has really good yogurts and butter. Somerset, Darset. <laughs> so I, I know Dorset. that. Yeah. So I was like, and I come from a village called Lie. So I said, my village sounds like a lie. Called Lie. Called Lie. It's called. Is the it name literally? of the place is Lie, but it's L E I G H. 
Um, ah. So I thought, oh, I made like a little pun. Like I said, oh, my village sounds like a lie. Scottish. <laughs> Scottish was obviously very distinctive. Yeah. Scottish very very easy to tell. Sometimes for me, like Londoners, if if someone is from London, I can't really tell where in London someone is from. Londoners always, you know, ask me where in London I'm from, and I should take a guess, but I always fail to take a guess. So London is so multicultural, and there are so many accents in London, so it's kind of like difficult as well. Which name was it? Someone from Merseyside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She, Lily. Oh, it's just, it's just like different, different accent from what I typically, what I am typically aware of. So obviously difficult. And viewers also get really confused as no well. No one knows my accent. Right. Like, no one can guess where I'm from. So it's not just you. It's just like my accent got really messed up over the years. Yeah. But like, don't you also think you want to like bring back your regional accent? Honestly, there? if I speak to any friends from home like on the phone i really pick up like scouse twangs and oh. stuff but also my sister lives abroad so her accent has also died off mm -hmm. so we've just kind of all neutralized yeah so it's quite sad i could kind of review what i've been learning when it comes to british accents so that was quite exciting as well for me still there's a long way to go <laughs> to perfect my British English and British accent knowledge. But it was very enjoyable, yeah. It was really nice to people from other different regions as well. There's no, not only London, where British people are from. So it was obviously very nice to learn more about different regions and cities as well. So today I tried to guess British accents. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment as well. Bye! Bye.